Welcome, y'all. Supreme Family Guard. I told I got a good one today. Folks, I'm happy today. I feel fresh. It's a beautiful day. The Lord has given all of us to come on YouTube and talk to all y'all ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls. Oh, and to all my family in Canada, we love you guys very, very, very much. Now, don't don't it on. This. Wait a minute. I want you to say it, honey. Can't nobody grow an avocado tree, a bacon, or a horse better than my husband. Can you say that for the people on YouTube, honey, please? Can't nobody grow an avocado tree better than my husband. Supreme. There you go, baby. Folks, look at this here now. First and foremost. Now I'm so glad you don't eat this, babe. That's right. I'm going to start now. I'm I know start. you are, because I'm going to make it, and you're going to eat it. Yeah, I sure will, baby. You can put it inside of my salad and keep me healthy good cholesterol cholesterol good help your cholesterol to do something like that no the good fats and amino acids yeah, and stuff inside of it see i know I, oh there's one i know ground. baby okay I, well, you're getting old that baby oh come you're getting old and the nerves getting bad you're getting old so anyway y'all it's one thing if you live down south okay i see these avocados mangoes guavas 20 30 40 50 feet tall but here in Hernando County, Citrus County, we get cold. So to get a avocado tree like this, folks, I did my due diligence. I put in a lot, a lot of work at night keeping this thing warm. So all these scoundrels that live in my house can eat some fresh avocados. I get daddy of the ward for this one here. Again, this is how we keep the base of our tree nice and cool kind of like a little microclimate got the building right there to block some of the wind from the winter time just so we can get these beautiful avocados for my lovely lovely wife look at this and look here babe Big. I'm telling you now. Oh my God. Babe, you don't have to touch them, babe, because you're going to make I them fall. I want to show the people they're not going to fall. I got the modest touch. Yes, you do. Look how many is in the top. Yes, show up the people, luck. baby. Yes, Lord. Praise Jesus. Now look at over here. Folks, y'all see this? So, yes, you can do it. If we can do it, you guys can do it too. Look at that. The prettiest avocado. Yeah, seriously. Nobody can grow an avocado tree better than me but God. Look at all that, yo. It's way that extra credit. You do right by the Lord. He, what did it say? Give it to you in abundance and you're fruitful. Something like that. So right there now, ain't it, y'all? That's, that's, that's something else, yeah. Well, that's big time right there now. Ooh -wee. Wow, this tree is way up there, babe. Mm -hmm. All the way to the top, there's like so many on the... Oh, oh, my goodness. You know I could climb this tree, babe. No, don't climb it. Baby. Oh, no, I could climb this. It has all the branches you could stop on, but I'm just yeah, scared no, of lizards. Not, no, no. Why? You think it's gonna, I'm going to break no, it? No, honey, I ain't say such a thing. Well, you mean that now. Back in Jamaica, this is nothing to climb. Y'all you know, Jamaican tree is different than what we got here in the state. Oh, <laughs> this is a supreme tree. This is not. That means it's supposed to be strong. Yeah, but we don't want to take the chance now. Oh. God give me extra credit, and then you climb up there and, and take it away. And, and something might happen, and the tree don't do right next year. We're going to leave it like this in no climbing zone. I'm going to put a sticker, say no climbing zone, honey. Well, folks, look at this now. Do you like what you see? Oh man, look at this one. Look at this over here. No, go around, baby. Go around to, to you, right? Keep camera still now. Don't, don't step. Baby, I'm keeping don't camera still. Don't step too hard and mess up my roof system now. Oh. Took a whole lot. You act like I weigh 500 pounds. I didn't say that, baby. You did now. But oh, there's no lizards. Me. Look at this now. This is what I want them to see. Look at that cluster. 
Maybe you can come sit back in and pretend you're back in Jamaica. Look at it. Wow, look at this. Mm-hmm. Oop. What, baby? My feet went down in the moat. See, I told you about stepping on my roots. I didn't. That's strike one. Oh, look at this little section here. This is four big ones. Mm-hmm. Back at the camera, baby, so they can see it real good. And, 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 oh, for you folks, just know what I feed it. Let me show you. Dun, 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 dun. Hold still, babe. Match my gloves, too, baby. Look like I got on the, the outfit. outfit. Y'all like that? Wait. That's something special now. Let's see again, guys, with just a little tidbit. A tree this, this height with this many fruit, you want to give it about four pounds. There's a lot of organic matter down in my soil, so I'm really, really good. I just actually gave it about a pound and a half just so nothing falls off the tree. So if you guys are wondering why it looks so lush and its exuberance is where it needs to be, that's because of my miracle Grow organics and some love from the Lord. And 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 the chicken gizzards and liver my wife feed me to keep my back strong. They come out here and do all this hard work. Now underneath my avocado tree, I got some pineapple plants coming up too. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little trick now, okay? Now see this area, let's pretend this is in you guys' uh, edible landscape at home. You can grow stuff like this kale because it's kind of off season. Now you can blend it up, but this we got it in other places and it's not really the season. But this here will break down and feed your plant, okay? So even that $1, $2 pack of seeds, grow it in the area, okay? And then once it grows and you're not going to eat it, okay, you feed it to your plant. All right, so yeah, again, guys, little things like this that you can grow in the area feed them to your plant okay remember a pack of seeds is two three bucks even if it's in the off season right grow it feed it to your plant it still saves money and it'll save you some time now this here since we're back here i'll just show it to you some of my tomato plants now these are grown folks just from the um, tomatoes out of the supermarket. I eat a piece of it and just throw it or chunk it, whichever one you want to see. Down here and they just grew. And like weeds like this, doesn't have any seeds. I lay them down because those roots are probably out in this area anyway. We need to transplant these, honey. Yeah. Cause them some healthy tomatoes. All right, guys, I'm going to, because I, I don't know a lot about guava, so I'm just going to show you all my guava plant in this video. All right, come on. She told me, I think her stomach hurt. So we're going to close out the video, y'all. You like the video, give us a thumbs up. Supreme Family Garden, may God bless each and every one of you. Again, to all my sponsorship, nice folks reaching out to us. We greatly appreciate you. And I'm going to make some of y'all videos this week. I've been tired and stomach been bothering me for the last few days. So, But I'm fresh and revived. About to go fishing. I'm going to be ready for this week now. Get a video a thumbs up. Share it with all your family and your friends. May God bless each and every one of you. And thank y'all for watching. We really appreciate it. And all the kind words in the comments. Thank y'all. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel though. Don't forget that too. <laughs>